And we're back. Yeah, what the what a weird shaped village. What is that thing? Maybe it's a temple of some kind. It's very delicious shape. Inside might have fine cuisine. How do you have a delicious shape? Yeah, I'll forget it. Jeez, all she Eve thinks about is food. Well, all you ever think about is girls. Ah, that's right. My mind is always filled with thoughts of you? Maybe I'm trying too hard. <laughs> I love Sedane. Rally ho! That's right, folks! You might recognize that little old rally ho greeting. These are dwarves. Or at least a very obvious reference to the dwarves of Final Fantasy IV. Rally ho! Rally ho! What's up with these little guys? R rally ho? Rally ho? Rally ho! Hey, hold up! Rally ho! Oh, come on! Rally ho is so sick of greeting! Greeting! If you didn't say rally ho, then you cannot enter Condé Petit. Hum town of the dwarves. Yep, straight up say they're dwarves, I forgot about that. Now wait just a minute here. Rally ho? Rally ho! You can pass! You want me to get an accent for these guys? It ain't happening, by the way. Vivi and the couple, and Quina accused. I've heard a couple of different pronunciations. Like I said earlier today, I looked up some. Quina and Quina, the two of them. I might bounce between them, but Quina's the one I uh, I know most. First, let's check out Vivi and the couple. Huh. People here sure are different. Come hither ye. Oh, I'm sorry. And just where do you think y'all are going? You always look around. Weesh. Would you stop heckling me for once? Away with ye! Uh, pardon me, but... Where would you be without me? Without me? Ye didn't have to get so angry. If you didn't want to hear me complain, you get back to work. Alright, woman, alright. Lazy good nothing, how good husband my huh? Wanna see me, oh nay, yay, we won. I'm, by the way, I'm gonna butcher this poor accent. I am so sorry. I have no idea how to pronounce these things. I am a dumb American from California. So, the worst accent I know is, is surfer accent, and I can't even fake that. Run errands, are you? Uh, um, pardon me, but I'll give you my regards to the others. Oh, gee whiz, the people here aren't afraid of me. Hmm. It, to the others? You have to raise your hand up and open your mouth wide when you say rally ho! Rally ho! Quinn accused. Rally ho! Rally ho yourself! This village have tasty munchies? Aye, that we do! Cony Petit is ham. 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 is ham to the most delicious home nuts and berries in the world! I can what. Again, that's what folks are. Why folks are always stealing our food? How rude! These are very bad people. Aye, that's right. Lots of yummy, good looking foods here. I'll let you have that pumpkin bomb there for a thousand gil. Huh? Why are you guilty of food? If you didn't pay for something, you're stealing. Oh, see, so you're the thief, are you know? N not me. I only gourmand. You cannot fool me, thief. No, I'm not thief. Thieves are awful people. You don't understand the concept of capitalism. An outsider. How come you built your village on this spot? Because we fear the mountains, the woods, and the sea sun are more than anywhere else. See, Conde Petit is surrounded by mountains near home, the moods, woods, and blessed by the sun. Oh, this is awful. I'm sorry. I might just drop the accent, but then we'll make reading what they're saying super hard. Dagger and William. Excuse me. Soon I'm gonna have to find a wife for my wee William. Nah, no, lassie wants your William for a man. Oh, what's wrong with the outside lass right there? Uh, hi, I was wondering. Hmm, I she a bunny lass at that. Have any of you seen? But well, she's awfully small to can uh, to send to the sanctuary, didn't you, Ken? Look at her. She's a mickle bigger than uh, you, I can. 
I'm not marrying anybody. Hmm, sanctuary. They're very unique here. Let's see how to mug Matt. Deliver a letter to Susanna? Thanks, Koopo. Let's save up. Because there's an opportunity to save, I'm gonna take it. Tell me something. How come there's no mist here? What's that you say? Mist? What's it taste like? Really? Oh, what can I do for you? The grocer just has basic items, so not terribly interesting. Though we could get our hands on more tents, but that they're super expensive. So we'll grab two. Really? Ho! Give me a good weapon for the road, will you not? Poison knuckles. Something we're gonna want to get. Why? I'm not telling. Oak staff. Oh, we don't have an oak staff. Right. We should equip th get that equipped as soon as possible. Lamia's tiara. Ritual hats. I don't have any magician cloaks. So let's sell some ethers. Sell a couple. Get two magician's cloaks. All right. Hasty back. I can see you what you be needing. All right. Gladius. Ritual hat will help learn counter. Uh, actually don't need that very much. But it is better stats than the bandana. Tip for the speed. I like the speed. Let's go ahead for now, but once we have the rest of the party with us, we might swap it out. You're not allowed to pass, laddie. Uh, BDs who you want to talk to when you want to end the- when you want to continue on? So we're not gonna do that. I cannot let you pass, laddie. I don't think we want to do that just yet. I think we want to look around. A puppy! Or sorta. Oh, what is the outsider doing here? Hi. I have seen a strange guy looking guy around here. Goes by name Kuja. You're strange looking. No, you see, he uh, looks really sinister and uh, you're sinister looking. <laughs> Am I? The only people that, that Zidane looks sinister to is women. You didn't expect me to work on such a fine day, did you? And yes, we want to rest. That may be small, but she'll do you good enough. You're welcome back whenever you like. We owe our thanks to the blessed and the sun in the heavens. Soon I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to find a woman for my wheelie William. Might be just be sitting here sipping my tea and gabbing the time away. Good drink of precious kin, so I always sip slowly. I heard there's a spring in the suit where if you throw a coin in it'll make you happy forever. Well now, that's uh, as it may be, but we wouldn't want to throw away our money so ghibli now, would we? Now it's here's a fountain of south that can restore your body and soul. Or as precious no doubt, we shouldn't put our hopes in such fairy tales. I think there's something I'm supposed to do with those fountains, but I guess not. Exploring just a tiny bit more, and we'll continue on. Yeah, okay. Someday I want to be joined uh, to Betsy on top of the Kirk boat. But after, and afterward we'll go to the sanctuary to inscribe our names together. Yeah, a man and a woman are joined in the blessing of the sun. Of course, we'll be a bit young to receive the blessing just yet. This is where we give thanks to the sun and the heavens. 
What's the matter, Vivi? Um, these two people. The hen you cooked for me was awful good, was. So where did, what way do you cook it? You fizzle it with some of your magic? The berries you're trading me will soon in too. But like I say, what's a wee lad like you doing here today? Hey, Vivi, do you know these people? How could I? I've never been here before. Yeah, I didn't think so. I'll try talking to some other people. Seems like they, un uh, they recognize him. Hmm. Hungry Brian. Sis, I'm hungry! But you just ate a boiled owl, did you not? I uh, did, but I didn't, didn't satisfy my voracious appetite. How do you say voracious appetite, but everything else is in an accent? I have to eat something with more punch, like say. Really ho! It's Mr. Pinty Hat. Really ho! What have you to sell today? That might have looked a little familiar. Yeah. This is where we give thanks to the sun and the heavens. So we might want to head towards the shopping area ASAP. See what the hell is going on. Huh? Well, any thanks? Your goods always welcome here. Hey. Oh, what the? Wait. Hang on, Vivi. Come back. Vivi. Sedane, what's going on? I have no idea, but we gotta catch up with Vivi. Vivi, where's the Black Mage? He ran away. Huh. Where the heck did he come from? Has Braun found us? Do you ken the bed pointy hats? Hmm? Did you say pointy hats? Or did you say pointy hats? Nay, I said pointy hats. They often come with, uh, from the Southeast Forest to trade with us. They? You mean there's lots of them? In... They live near here? Aye, but you gots to go all the way around the cliff if you to go to east to find the Southeast Forest. Southeast Forest. They, they live stay deep in the forest. They even now don't even live there. What's that supposed to mean? This is name. I want to go to the Southeast Forest and find them. Yeah, me too. I think it's a good idea. We might find some clues. If possible, to try new food. Anywhere, fine. All right, let's head to the Southeast Forest. We now have a new destination in mind, and it sounds like there might be a village full of black mages. The only black mages we've run into... ...happen to be... Uh, well, ones that talk anyway, happen to be murderers who wanted to kill us. You might see that little bulge in the forest, that's exactly what we're aiming for. Fortunately, to get there, we have to go around a lot of stuff. Uh, let me look at our... I forgot to look at equipment and stuff. And the zoo's back. Alright, so we haven't done this yet, but I'm gonna. Judgment. A zap. Not the most damage. That's what a summon looks like. However, that was the full animation of the summon item. Something you only get on the first time you summon something, and from then on it's a percentage chance or while she's tranced. She doesn't have the ability to always use the full animation, and that means from, uh, from here on there's a pretty good chance the Ramu is not going to be extremely powerful. Keep in mind, this is all from memory. I might be wrong on how the mechanics work, but I don't think I am. There is an ability that makes us there always the full animation, but it's not something we have access to right now. Um, I Before we go into the forest, I really need to find that uh, chocobo, those chocobo tracks that I've not found yet. Now we're fine there. Demi's tiara will help, will teach her confuse and give her clear headed, so we definitely want those. I still haven't gotten any new armlets. And she's still learning level up. The magician's cloak, not very good. It increases magic defense and magic damage goes up. 
Uh, spirit goes down, which isn't a big deal. Defense goes down, which also not a big deal. So I think I'll go ahead and equip this. It also raises ice elemental attacks, so we're going to start using ice more often. Also, we're learning stuff from the oak staff. Stop and drain? Stop is decent. Drain? Not so much. Bio, however, is an extremely powerful uh, spell. I believe in this game, Bio does extra damage to uh, to humanoids or human-type enemies. Basically, if Ban Eater works, so does Bio. Ritual Hat will teach you counter, so we're going to get started on that. Oh, okay, let's get you started on Locomotion. Uh, Zidane, are you good? You're still learning a Locomotion. That's right, I had more than one survival vest. Cool. And we're only two points away from learning Annoy, so we can move on to the next skill. Annoy, by the way, I haven't talked about that. Annoy causes trouble on the target. I still don't remember what trouble does. I should have looked up that looked that up during break. My bad. Excuse Marsh. Oh, I think I see the, the Chocobo tracks. They might be right in front of me. Spells, making sure I knew what was I was getting into. Remember, Lazara is now our friend because we're doing extra ice damage. Bye bye. Good. We learned annoy. We can switch back to the other weapon. Yep, they've been right here the entire time. Alright, it's all greens. Quah! Somehow, Choco's managed to find us all the way on this continent. Super convenient. Uh, open Chocograph menu. We want number five. So, one, two, three, four, five. Abandoned beach. I think there's a beach in your huge dying forest. This might be it, Kupo. Have you ever tried to play a uh, Final Fantasy IX speedrun? No, I'm not a speedrunner, and I don't like speedrunning. I like watching speedruns. I've been watching AGDQ for, uh, all over, but yeah. There are treasures on continents and miss continent, Koopo. All right, so this is what we're looking for. I don't remember exactly where it is, but I mean, it's not like we have encounters to worry about. Ah, it should be over here. Yep, this looks really good. There we go. Found it. Ta-da! Nine Phoenix Pinions, five Phoenix Downs, twelve Parados, and Diamond Gloves. Diamond Gloves don't work on any of the characters we have right now, but this also has the added effect of us being able to travel through this forest without getting into a, to a ton of encounters. If I look at my list, there's nothing in here we really needed either. Which is a good thing. So hop on off the uh, chocobo and into this mysterious forest. Whoa! I think they live so deep in the forest that owls don't even live there. So he the mechanic here is basically go to the place where the least amount of owls are. However, the first place you want to go is where the black mage obviously was. So the first one you go through is the red herring. Also, there are owl monsters in here. Alright, Phoebe. Rainbow Wind! Just deal some damage. Bye bye, birdie. That 
should have given him his ability. Oh no, wait, we already swapped. Duh. That's why he has the new sword on. Every time a, an owl goes away, I believe you've taken the correct path. Do we actually want to go... So that's right, that's right. It's The path isn't where the least amount of owls are, the path is whichever path you take that makes an owl leave is what you, is the correct path. That's right, I must have read the walkthrough wrong. Missed! I just love how much damage Zidane can end up doing if you start building him correctly. Carrion Worm card. Yay. Not yay. Alright, so the correct path is right, right, left, and then right. Because we'll be following him. It's such a chubby birdie. It's so cute. Hey, it has white wind also. So if you hadn't learned that skill yet. Psychokinesis? You jerk. It's like it's like Hoot Hoot from Pokemon, I believe, who, who learns psychic abilities, at least. I, I don't remember much from Pokemon, even though I've played most of the generations. I've even got a few of them here, I think. No, I, I think I sold that one. Oh well. There we are. It seems that they have an illusion, protecting a part of the forest. And they're very bad at checking if someone's following them. Welcome to the Black Mage Village. <gasps> Humans! What's wrong? Humans, run! Wait! Did you see them? Yeah, they were talking. There are others like me. Why would anyone build a village in the middle of a dying forest? Beats me. Where's Vivi? He went that way, but I... Hey! A village! Village always have good food. I go find. I... Jeez, you people. Alright, something very important. This ATE, don't look at it yet. Stuff is going to happen once you do. But you want to wait. It is a story-based thing, and the first thing you want to do is talk to this Moogle and do Magnet. Favorite ask, Koopo? Can you, uh, I want you to deliver a letter to Mochi. Thank you, Koopo. Alright. So we're fine there. Now, you want to start looking at active time events, and obviously there's a lot of them. Have you seen the Final Fantasy IX Steam release? I've been uh, discussing it actually during today's stream. Sbeth, or Sbeth, Sbeth. I don't know how to pronounce your uh, username. What's going on? Um, I know it's got some extra features, including HD. I'm not sure if they're actually HD, but they're much improved uh, models for the characters. The uh, FMVs are going to be f uh, in full HD. Uh, it's going to have new modes. It's going to have auto saving. And I think those are the major improvements, major changes. Different language. Is he the one who came here with that group of humans? Just a mini texture upgrade? Yeah, but I mean, the models look a lot better. 
it, it, you you notice a lot of pixelization on these models, and you can like see exactly where the pixels sort of cross. Especially, I mean, just look at this black mage that's talking right now, number two eight eight. You can just see the way his staff sort of waves back and forth, and you can see how the pixels tra uh, transition between. And that doesn't exist in the PCE version, the Steam version that's coming out. That's going to be very smooth, and the model is going to look a lot better. I saw a. Uh, I saw Steiner, especially, in one of the screenshots, and he looked fantastic. So yeah, I'm excited. Uh, even the small upgrade. As long as it's just an upgrade over the existing, and they don't change stuff dramatically, like graphics-wise, like they've done with some of the iOS ports that came to Steam, I'm totally okay with it. I, I'm really excited. Um, obviously, I'm not going to switch over to it if it releases before I'm done with this, but I'm probably going to buy it for myself and totally play it on my own. He's alright. Look into his eyes. He's aware, just like us. Uh, thanks. Um, what are you all doing here? We escaped together from Alexandria and the cargo ships. This far? That's right. We wanted to live in a world where there are no humans. To find that, we had to cross the ocean. Anivia, hello there. You'll do the level one challenge. Ah, more power to you, es uh, Esbeth. Sebeth. I still don't know how to pronounce your username. I'm sorry. <laughs> I see. So, uh, what's this? This is a, uh, what's the word? It's a cemetery. Right, a cemetery. A cemetery? So, underneath the ground? Yes, our friends are buried here. But, why? That's because I, I came here with Mr. 36. We escaped together. We had so many things to learn. It was really scary at first, but we helped each other. Then one day, Mr. 36 stopped moving. He just stopped. Wouldn't move or say anything. My friend who knows a lot of things told me that this was what death was, and we had to bury him. Mr. 36 is buried on the ground now. I don't understand why. It's going to come out again one day, right? When he does, I'm going to wash him off in the pond. What is he talking about? Was it disease, or was he hurt? Tell me. Why? That's because this part is really important. It gives us a sort of uh, a context for how the Black Mages understand the world right now. How they understand each other and how they understand living in general. And we're going to get some more details into that. And it's going to show a lot about Vivi and what he's been through as well and what he understands. Visitor, not invader. Excuse me. Why are you here? This is our village. Yeah. You forced the little guy to guide you here, didn't you? That's all you humans ever think about. Using us. You mean about Vivi? That's not true. It's just that I was surprised to see Black Mages on Vivi who could talk, so... Besides, I'm here to stop the person who sent you off to fight. Uh, are you telling the truth? Lies. All humans are liars. You're lying. But it's true. I can't just sit here and watch while horrible things are happening. You notice that there's a combination of Type A's, Type B's, and Type C mages about. This is an inn, but we're not ready to check you in. Hey, Virgo. When this is Lazio. Uh, at some point, I am probably going to be collecting all of them. I don't think any of them are missable. But we're not worried about that right now. If they are missable, then oops. Oh well. Life cycle. This is a very important ATE. Not the one I thought, never mind. <laughs> Aha! I know you hide food! Get out! This egg is ours! It's chocobo egg! Chocobo egg's super delicious! We share and eat it. We're not gonna eat it! The chocobo mother left it for us before she stopped moving! That's right! We're gonna raise it for her! You crazy! We never raised any animal before! Shut up! We can so do it! I not believe you! You eat egg behind my back! No way! Quinna actually raises a pretty good point. If you've never raised an animal before, raising it from a baby is gonna be really difficult. But Quinna is also pretty simple-minded, <laughs> even with the nugget of wisdom. Oh, Zidane! What's up, Dagger? I was telling them why we're here. Why are we here? Zidane! That's just a joke. Jeez, don't get mad. Can't you see I'm trying to make them understand? 
it's a joke. Is it scary? It's something funny. Right, Dagger? You don't seem so bad. Because you're here to fight the bad guys. That's right. You're unbelievable, you know that? <laughs> She's also mad that he made more progress in, in getting uh, them to trust him than she was. Hey, where's Feeny? I don't know where he went. That worries me. I'm gonna go look for him. Hey, Dagger! Not again. Welcome to the Black Cat Synthesis Shop. They're, so they're willing to let us do some synthesis. And it's very important that we do some. Unfortunately, I need another Mithril Dagger! Because Rune Tooth is very important. It's also on my very important list of stuff to get. Let's look for the other stuff while we're here, though. Uh, cotton Robes. Cotton Robes are interesting. Because the funds you get, you need, to buy the wrist and the steepled hat and synthesize them is actually less than if you sell a cotton robe, I believe. So there's actually a trick where you buy 99 wrists as soon as you're able to, 99 steepled hats as soon as you're able to, and the first synthesis shop you come to, you make a bunch of cotton robes and sell them. That's not something I'm doing. I could have done it a few times, actually, at this point in the game, but I'm not interested in doing that. I feel it's a little cheaty, and I don't like that. Uh, what else did we want? There's definitely other stuff we want to get. The Medane's Ring. Right. But we need the Stardust Rod. Which I think she currently has equipped. So we're gonna have to take care of that. Extension, however, is something we very much want. The Extension is a hair ornament with various powers worn by women. It raises Thunder Elemental Attack. The abilities it gives are what's important. Reflect Ring... Do we need a Mundane's Ring first and an Inklet? We don't have either. We can't even make an Inklet right now. So obviously we still need a Rune Tooth, so we need another Mithril Dagger. So we need to find a weapon shop at some point. Uh, also, let me double check something. I don't think I can go... Yeah, I can't go in anybody else's equipment right now. Come up here. Find this well-hidden chest for some gill. Do-do-do. I don't know if there's anything else. Doesn't look like there is. Thank you for allowing me to use of your ladder, sirs. Or madams, I suppose. It didn't occur to me that maybe black mages have genders. And if they do, <laughs> even if they don't have genders, referring them all to he it seems a little strange. Hey, Vivi! What's up with him? Hey, how come you guys can all talk? We became aware one day. Each under different circumstances. Became aware? How? Do you remember being born? No, not really. It was the same with me. I just woke up one day, and there was a human body laying next to me. His body was covered in blood. It scared me. I didn't know what it meant. I ran as fast as I could. When I looked around, I was far away from the front line. There were many others like me, and we decided to escape together. We heard about this village after roaming around for a while. That's how I ended up here. I see. So that notes that that uh, we don't know what battle this guy was from. We don't know what happened. All we know is this village was here before him. Many of our friends stopped moving recently. The ones that were produced earlier stopped first. Maybe our lifespan is limited. I wonder what it's like down there. Is it warm or cold? Uh, welcome. Can I help you? Uh, you're not the shop guy. However, there's something very important you want to get here. First of all, you can buy remedies if you wish. Ever... Oh, there actually isn't the thing I was thinking of here. I'm gonna buy some high potions, though. We definitely need some. I'm gonna sell a couple more ethers just to round off, round off my money. This is the inn. I just sworn there's a weapon shop nearby. But I don't think there is. Damn. That's gonna be a bit of a problem. Unless this is the weapon shop. Welcome. Huh? Uh, um, can I help you? Okay, good. You can get a mithril dagger from here, and we can buy an extra stardust rod. I'll do that. Alright, let's go back to the synthesis shop then. 
Uh, double check his equipment, though. Magic armlets. Let's get a couple of these. Actually, let's just go for the fourth. Ritual hat, silk shirt, ritual vest, adamant vest, magician cloak, survival vest. Okay. Good. Everything else we're solid on. Um, ritual fork is something we already have, so we don't need that. Alright. I may need to sell some things be able to afford the synthesis prices now that I think about it. So let's go back to the item shop real fast. I could have sold a weapon shop, but I wasn't thinking of it. So, two more ethers. Hopefully that'll be enough. Oh wait, there's something on the wall there. Ether! To make up for one of the ones I sold. That's the main use for ethers this early in the game. Because you don't want to spend a ton on magic because you don't really need to. But yeah, so let's get ourselves a rune tooth. And no, Medane's ring. You can also make fairy earrings using magic armlets and soft if you want more than one. However, I've got one, so I'm good. Medane's ring. I'm also out of money now. Basically had just enough. Alright. So Vivi is obviously very distressed about whatever he talked to about with the, uh, with the, who seems to be the de facto leader of the Black Mages over there. Anivere, thank you for the follow, I appreciate it. Zidane, you want to eat too? Chuck boy, very delicious. We're never gonna give it to you. He can hear though, you can find some Gasol grains. Do you have to go now? Anavia, that's very fine, no worries. Um, I will tell you though that this gets cross-posted to my YouTube as well as stays on Twitch. So by the end of the day, I should have this moved over to YouTube and highlighted. So if you want to watch the rest of this, uh, you want to watch the rest of this stream, then that'll be cool. Um, tomorrow is not going to be Final Fantasy IX. Final Fantasy IX is my Tuesday, Thursday stream. But yes, if you want to see me tomorrow, I'll be streaming Wild Arms 5 as a blind playthrough. Where did Vivi go? I don't... It's odd, I think I've looked everywhere. Let's see... Many of our friends stopped moving recently. Their lifespan is limited. I like how the music stops in that area, in this cemetery. And combine an elixir here. I forgot about that. There's a lot of little hidden stuff that you gotta look very carefully around for in this game. Look at it! Wave its wings! Ah. Oh. Oh, where are they? I always forget where they where they go. There you are. Vivi? What's wrong? Huh? No, oh, Sedane, it's... it's nothing. Did something bad happen? All the bad ma black majors seem pretty nice. Nothing happened. Or I hungry. This village people eat terrible food. Oh, Vivi, you're back. Where were you? You look very... you know, tired, right, Vivi? Yeah. I don't blame you. We've been rocking around, walking around non-stop. You should call it a day. I go to forest and look for food. I'm gonna use it, Aim. Let's rest. Yeah, we'll call it a day. Sedane, Vivi just walked out. Maybe he's letting us have a little romantic quiet time. I'm serious. I wouldn't worry too much. But... He's trying to figure something out for himself. Think about it. Vivi's never met black mages like himself before. But what if they're being mean to him or saying nasty things? You really think the people in this village gathered to do something like that? Maybe... just maybe he'll find what he's looking for. Find what? A place to call home. Home? Yeah. Place where he belongs. 
Hey, Zidane, when you sit home... What's the matter? Can't fall asleep? About a bedtime story. Let's see. Once upon a time... Are you going in teasing me? Once upon a time, there was a man. There was a man who didn't know where he came from. Zidane? This man had longed to find his birthplace ever since he was a small child. His birthplace, a place he only remembered in his dreams. Why? He wanted to know more about himself, maybe. About his parents, the house where he was born. One day the man left the home of his adopted father and went on a quest to find the answer. His only clue was the blue light he saw in his dreams. A blue light? Yeah. Thought it might be a memory of his birthplace. An ocean, maybe? Did he find it? Hey, you're jumping ahead. A lot of things happened along the way. Alright, we can skip ahead. No. He never found it. How could he? His only clue was a colored light. So he went back to the home of his adopted father. What do you think his father did when he came home? Welcomed him home? <laughs> no way! The father raised his fist and beat the son he had worked so hard to raise. Why? I don't know. But you know what surprised him even more? The father smiled after beating up his son. You believe that? You just gave the son a beating. This is what the man thought when he saw the father smile. This is my home. This is the place I call home. The man is still looking for his birthplace. But he already has a home. Maybe... It's the same for Vivi. He's looking for a place to call home. I wonder if Vivi will stay in this village. Who knows? That's for him to decide. Hello. Nice to meet you again. Um, I wanted to ask you something. What is it? I was wondering how many people have stopped moving. A very kind use our words. But you already know what it means to live, and to die. You're asking about our friends who have died, not stopped. Um... Seven of our friends stopped functioning recently. I think our lifespan is limited. I've suspected this ever since the first one came to a stop. It varies a little, but most of us stopped moving one year after production. No! I haven't told anyone else about this. If I did, they'd feel the same way I do. What do you feel? I don't know. Fear? I don't want to stop. And maybe I want to run away from it all. But living in this village with everyone fills me with joy. And joy of living with them far outweighs the fear of death. Isn't it the same for you? Traveling with your friends gives your life meaning. I... Really? Yeah, I think that's what you're looking for. Thank you! What's up, Dagger? Sedane! Someone saw a silver dragon in the northwest part of the continent! People of Condé Petit said there was a place called Sanctuary where entrance is restricted! I think this Kuja said something about a secret being hidden on this continent. You heard him say that? Yeah, something about the source of the mist. Maybe we can find out more if we go there. Maybe save my mother! Right. Oh, where's Vivi? Vivi says he's staying behind. Wait for me! Vivi? Everyone in this village asked me to see the outside world and tell them about it! I see. Oh man, I thought Dagger and I'd have to spend some quality time together. What you say? You know who can leave me here. I starve! Oh yeah, I forgot about you. Let's go, everyone. To Condé Petit, and to Sanctuary that Lies Beyond. This entire village sequence is a huge moment for Vivi. And a huge moment for all these characters. I mean... We finally learn a bit about Zidane, like who his family is. He doesn't know, and he's been looking for most of his life. But he considers Tantalus his home, and he always will. We uh, Dagger just gets, you know, she's just very compassionate and trying to help everyone. Quinna, of course, doesn't exactly get character development, but Vivi gets a whole bucket load. It shows that, like, of all the black mages here, Vivi's pretty much the only one that really understands life and death besides that one really wise one near the cemetery. The rest of them don't. So Vivi, despite looking like he's really young, 
is probably one of the oldest and more wise black mages that exists right now. At least of all the sentient ones, that's for sure. So it really says a lot, and it, it, with with not a ton of information, but it st still says a great deal, and I really like this entire area. It's a real big defining moment of this game. Huh, okay, so let's give you clear handed Still don't have anything better than the silk robe, huh? Magic. Well, it increases magic damage, but let's double check if you need it. You don't. I still don't have anything better than that, huh? Well, you could learn Thundara from Parado, but you're fine there. Ooh, okay. Uh, Medane's Ring, right. Chemist and Guardian Mog. Guardian Mog is a very interesting ability, but it's not one we're gonna deal with for a bit. Uh, body Temp you're gonna learn from this when she's done. So you're still working on Millionaire, otherwise... Ritual Hat is teaching you Counter, which I should probably equip to you. Alright, let's go ahead and equip that to you somehow. Uh, add Status? Do you even have a Status Effect on your current weapon? No. Add status can go away. Why do we even have that equipped? What am I thinking? Counter. Alright, so we're good there. Let's double check what's going on with the chocobo egg, shall we? I'm thinking of a name for it. I wonder when it'll hatch. I keep it warm constantly. We built this shack to accommodate our baby chocobo. Pretty nice, don't you think? Mm, it's actually a really nice shack. I mean, it's not big, but it doesn't need to be. It's a letter from Stiltskin. Let's read it together, Kubo. I'm becoming familiar with the geography of the Outer Continent. The next destination is Conde Petit. They exchanged a special greeting with each other before entering the village. What was it? I think it was Rally Ho. It's actually Rally Kubo. Kubo? Stiltskin is so funny. <laughs> it's not Rally Kubo. I like the music in here, too. I mean, the music in this game is always fantastic, but it's really... It's got a bit of, of a strange bounce and rhythm to it, but it, I don't know. I think it reminds me of something in Sonic, surprisingly. But yeah, all the mages here are now going to talk to us so we can actually discuss things and have conversations, but there's not much that... There's nothing really important right now. All right, we got all the things there. Just double, double checking my notes to make sure we got everything in the village we wanted. Let's hop on our chocobo and head on out, shall we? The next chocograph we're gonna want is not for a while. It's definitely not for today. There we go. So I'm gonna turn it off so it doesn't appear on the screen all the time. Oopsies, I accidentally got off my chocobo. Let's head back to Condé Petit. We need to somehow get to Sanctuary. But it's a restricted area. But we did hear some people going, some dwarves going to Sanctuary. Do you remember why? It's kind of important. Hold on, I got my controller mixed up in my headset cord. So Sanctuary is on the other side of the valley. But the exit leading there in the upper floor is guarded by a dwarf who won't let us through. It's when dwarfies block wave shop on the right side. No can get through. Hmm. Well, let's just try and go as far as we can. Alright, let's give this place a nice once-over. I wonder if we can get this thing yet. There's, there's a special item we can get in here, but it might not be something we can get right away. Yeah, they're blocking it. Okay, don't worry about it then. Actually, no, they're not. Oh no, they totally are. It's the other side we need to get to. Say, I want to get through here. Blutheration! Only those who've received the, the ceremony can pass. Now, what the heck is that ceremony? Speak to his holiness. And where is his holiness? I didn't care where he is. His holiness? Are you his holiness? This is what we give thanks to. No, you're not his holiness. 
Let's keep looking for his holiness then. Oh, holy one! Uh, do I have a letter for you? Nope. Gotta make sure you check every chocobo! Speak to his holiness. I don't care where he is. None of them seem to know where his holiness is. Just keep an eye out. These are bonny lasses, you know. Once again, I apologize for butchering the link, uh, the accent. Uh, accents are one of those things that I know I can practice and I should practice, because at the what little voice acting I do, I should be able to do accents to make them better. Oh, you look holy. Hey, Mister, are you the holy guy? Hi, I'm Father David. Well, what are you doing, hanging around this hallway? Well, a priest has uh, much to worry about, you see. Yeah, whatever. Look, we need to get past this village. Huh. Tradition states that only those who want to go to the ceremony can approach the sanctuary. Uh, so, what the heck is the ceremony about anyway? Well, after all, man and a woman are blessed in holy union, they leave them on a pilgrimage, on a holy pilgrimage to the sanctuary. So, basically, it's a wedding and a honeymoon, right? I didn't kid your words, but methinks you understand it. So we can go to the sanctuary if we undergo the ceremony, right? Yeah, hey, Dagger. So yeah, that's the deal. What do you think? We can go if we get hitched, but there's no way we'd actually... Let's do it. What? So you want to be joined, eh? The ceremony's only for dwarves, you see. But we have this. Uh, we have saw a few young folk do this. We do into 99 couples. I was worrying about that very thing. What's the harm? Oh, no, we can have your oh, hunter ceremony. I like this guy. He's like, well, tradition dictates we wouldn't normally marry you. But it wouldn't harm anything to marry you two, so sure, I'll do it. This guy, he understands me. Uh, Dagger? What's going on? <laughs> Poor Zidane, totally taken, uh, totally sideswiped by this. Spirit of the mountain, spirit of the wood. Uh, now how did I get into this? What were this man and woman as they begin their journey? We gotta do the ceremony to get past this village. And only a guy and a girl can have the ceremony. Ah, well that's a pain in the ass. Now hold on a sex dagger. Don't you get it? This is marriage. M-A-R-R-I-A-G-E. I'm very surprised I knew how to spell that right off the top of my head because I always, f I'm bad at pronouncing, spelling, and just help me save me. No kidding, but we have to get to, uh, do it to go on, right? Yeah, but that's not reason enough. Oh, come on. What is she thinking? She's supposed to get angry and say no way. In sickness, sun, and health. Of course, we're just trying to get past this village. Have the strength to carry you through trials. Could it be that she likes me? And the wisdom to follow the path. Gotta admit, I was pretty deep that night at the Black Mage Village. Maybe that's when she fell for me. I'm such a stud. May the blessing of heaven be upon the man and woman. Dagger! Now we're man and wife! Time for the kiss! <laughs> Playing card to get, eh? That's a day. That's why he's one of my favorite protagonists in all of Final Fantasy. He's such a goofball, I love it! Happy fit! Now you can announce your uh, joining to the twins on the other gate. What? You mean there's more? We have to follow tradition, lad. Oh well. Time for us newlyweds to make the rounds, Dagger. Remember, we're only married while we're here. Bliss is so fleeting. Sedane, what are we supposed to do? Hey, you guys trying to ruin our honeymoon? But you cannot just leave us here. Don't worry, I'll figure something out. Hmm, let's see. Why don't you guys get married too? What? Yeah, that's it. Meantime, Dagger and I can go announce our marriage. This is the best part. Nuptial joy. <laughs> it's the same thing, by the way. This, I guess this is their hundred and first, uh, couple. I... So happy. Me too. Thief! <laughs> God, this game. It's 
so adorable. Hey guys, we're the newlyweds, Zidane and Dagger. Ready ho, happy fit. Off to the sanctuary area. That's right, will you let us through now? Ready ho, of course. Safe journey to both of you. Let us be off, my darling. Thief! Huh? Mog, hurry! Kubo! Stop, Thief! W what's going on? I don't know, let's still take a look. Oh, it's a very tiny thief. They got away. Fudge! And we can't go any further. Does anyone live out there? Of course not. It's forbidden. Look, don't two thieves are always snitching food. Oh yeah? I'll catch him next time. Oh hey guys. So you've had your ceremony, right? Y yeah. Thief have enough to steal food right in front of me. Okay, time to press on. And first things first, we want to go back. You see, now that the ceremony's taken place, there are people that should be out of my way. Son of a biscuit! You're supposed to be gone, you two. Yes, we know. Oh, you can just get right by them. Never mind. You get a diamond for doing that. Son of a bitch. The diamond has body temp and distract. So if you don't learn distract yet... Oh, wait, no, distract is different. Oh. Well, let's learn counter and then we'll learn that. I thought distract was the ability for some reason. No, that's what's that. That's different. Um, distract, I don't remember exactly what the skill, uh, what the skill does, but we'll, you know, equip it and do that later. Diamonds are pretty rare. You only get a limited number, I believe, in the game. So getting one now is very advisable. However, seems, hey, we've got ourselves a trap thief. Welcome to the mountain path. Kupopo! Hurry, Mog, before I get caught! What's wrong, Mog? Kubo! Wait, don't leave me here! Ah, oh, stuck on a branch. Betrayed by my own trusted Moogle. This is how I meet my end. Mog, I'm gonna haunt you if I die here. Oh, am I hallucinating? The person has no horn. It's actually very hard to see because of the resolution of the game. But if you look very closely, you can see couple pixels in the middle of her hair right uh, kind of right in front of her bow she actually has a horn on her head she has a tail though huh ah help don't eat me I don't taste good it's true I taste awful you heard her Quinna I see too bad but Moogle that ran away very strange color I go find and eat it no don't Gotcha. Thanks. Are you okay? Yeah. You're not hurt? I told you I'm okay. I'm not a child like that kid in blue. But you don't look older than me. Are you kidding? I do have a name, you know. Her name is Aiko. It's actually a, a lot of contention in the Final Fantasy IX community about what her name is. However, what can, uh, what's up with Aiko and why is she here? Why did she have a horn on her head? And who is that Moogle? Find out all this and more after a break. So get up, stretch, whatever you need to do to be able to keep watching Come Triple A. And I will be right back. <laughs> 